All right, gamers, we are back for another episode of Kaisa to Diamond. Today we're going to be playing Kaisa and Amumu into Zaya Annie, which sounds like about an even matchup to me. Let me give you a hug. I think maybe we should have a slight advantage for level 6, but after level 6, Annie's burst is going to become immense. And personally, I can't really tank that, so it might become hard for me to follow up on Amumu's engages. Nice little poke into her there. God, Annie's range is very obnoxious. Guess we'll just let them push us in since Momo can't engage at the moment. I might level E here and just try and get in range for a stun. So we're gonna make sure to stand back even further back. So the autos only do like 38 damage per auto, but it's really stacking up. Like I've basically lost all of this HP just to any autos. It's kind of crazy. Oh, looks like they have vision. Ooh. The moon still has another one. We still got her. Damn, just barely not gonna be a call though. Oh man, I thought I was running ghost. Unfortunately, we're we're running cleanse since any stun is pretty unavoidable in lane, and we get a lot of out of just getting rid of that. We'll much increase our chances of winning fights. I don't think he needs to stick around for this. I don't necessarily want the crash. The fuck. Okay, so Annie's out of potions. She's still trying to poke me with her autos because I don't have any kind of response with Kaisa's lowly 5 to 5 range. Annie, I think, has 6 to 5. It's literally the highest auto attack range in the game besides Caitlyn. Not counting modifiers. I can get her here. Nice one. I'd cleanse ready if she tried to stun. It's a little bit risky, so we're just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, I don't want to fish. I can be a go. Ooh, I should have. If only I could communicate that to a moment time. Oh shit! What the fuck? Okay, that was uh, yeah. Viego's flash, not a moment's. <laughs> That's a shame. I could almost get Viego, I could almost get Zaya, but I just barely couldn't actually get them. Oh, <coughs> oh good, Amumu. He should rush into lane, though, because they could be trying to cheese me in this brush. Actually, because he isn't tier, I shouldn't have even tried to shove. I think I should have just left the wave here, even if it's unideal. We're gonna have to leave it there. I can't afford to stay around for another wave. I think I'll just get Noon Cover for now, since I can get refillable as well. Then we'll get Berserkers. What the hell is going on here? Well, that sucks. That seems like it should have been avoidable. Lovely, she was just out attacking me. <laughs> Thought she was actually walking up for a Q trade. I was ready to bring it on. It's 
It's so weird how she plays. She she's never tried to stun me. Well, I don't know if I should be focusing any here. That's eh, working out fine. I got the double. Let's go. That's one all off. Really should have uh, focused. I, I don't know, because the thing is, if I focus Zaya, there's for sure less risk of her cleaning up, like the Amumu, for example. But, um, I would also have less chances of getting a double kill, because Annie would be able to get away while I'm focusing Zaya. This way, at least it was pretty much a guaranteed double, as long as Zaya didn't clean us up, which she didn't have a chance of. Just had to give her the chance of getting a kill as well, but it didn't even happen, so it's just all good. Nice. I was worried she might have vision there. Like how Mazahar's name is Silence Wench and he's playing a champion with a silence. Both of them have silence. Of course that hit me. Zai's level 6. Oh, shouldn't be as deep. Zai didn't notice. Okay, no more stun on any. This is free. Nice one. We could try and dive any as well. I've got W and R. It's just gonna back off. Play it real safe. Don't wanna overextend too hard, trying to kill her without Olaf since Viego could be around for all we know. Okay, he's top side. Gonna hopefully get the plating and also the wave here. Actually, I don't even have to care too much about the costs, we can just clear the melees. That's fine. We spend much less time if we don't also, uh,. Stay for them, costers. Let's sell this for another longsword. Hopefully, we can just base on Crack and Slayer on our next base. Nice. That should have been focusing on crashing the Sace up. She could have made me miss a lot. Of that wave instead I'm probably gonna miss zero if I play this right. Yep, perfect. And it wouldn't have happened if we didn't or if we did stay for the costers. Looks like they have vision in that brush by the way. And that one now. The hell? <laughs> really? Moment didn't hit anybody. Oh god, there was a shuttle that I didn't even see. Come on, bro. I'm so fucked now. Fuck me. Jesus, what a collapse. Okay. I want to ping Diego's flash, not Heiss's flash. Oh, that was so close. Oh no. Oh no, that is so unlucky. Holy crap. Didn't base on Kraken Slayer, but it's not worth selling. Long sword for Quick Cloak. Here we go.
Probably didn't play that perfectly, by the way. Could have uh, flashed somewhere better, like just straight up, I think. Because I didn't check the map in time. I didn't see that I was just going to be flashing into the enemy team anyway. I just got completely caught off guard there. Yeah, that sucks, but I think we still have a lead individually in lane at least. Ooh, close one. Oh, they're not actually recalling though. I think Viego's gonna be around then. I need to run actually. Like, we have to assume that they're staying here without spending their gold because Viego wants to gank again. Stay alert. Stay aggressive. Yep, they are hard baiting. We just gotta leave. I'll go do ground to waste Viego's time. I bet you she'll cancel a recall, yep. Cause she doesn't she she's just trying to like make us walk up, trying to make us think that it's safe. But without actually getting out of position for the vehicle gink. Now they're trying to shove because now Vigo's given up. Got him. See, now she was actually recalling. Vigo was trying to make a gank work there for so long, and I can tell even though I'd never had vision of it. Now they want to base and actually spend their gold advantage. You know, or at least the gold that they gained from all those shenanigans. I can base for Mythic as well, but we got Cho'Gath on the way, so... about to kill it. That was just about to press, press Q. It's 50 gold if I kill it. Wait, how the fuck is it full HP again? Huh? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Wait, I... Okay, that's gonna be part of the Annie update. <laughs> the fuck? Also, wait, why is it a Teemo? I'm fine with them recalling, we can get the turret. Honestly, if I was them, I would stay. Because even though they haven't spent their gold, they're just giving up a turret by basing now. And they're not exactly that much behind me. They just, they're just they just like two long swords behind. Well, and Berserkers, I guess. But it's not like we've been able to kill them, right? So we just get a free turret now. When they could have just indefinitely dragged this out. I'm tempted to go... Ah, oh, no, god damn. Dude, what is up with all of these games? I get, I, get, I get lately where I'm winning bot lane, but we give up every fucking Drake. I just realized that. I, I looked at their Drakes and I thought, no, I can't fucking give up this Drake because it's going to put them a soul point. We need to try and contest this. But we're losing on every lane except boss, so we're probably going to lose the Drake anyway. Oh, man. Why can't my jungle... Like, he's given gank bot a lot, right? How has none of those ganks resulted in a Drake? Considering we keep killing them. Well, that's the Drake gone. Should have gone top. I need to defend mid. I need to walk around. I think I'll check their blue. Oh, blue isn't up. I'll go mid then. Check that out first. That 
Okay, we can maybe consider ganking Mazahar. Need to go for a flank. Damn it, we must have been seen there. But maybe he didn't notice. Maybe he didn't notice. Oh my god, that's a Shenult. Get him fast. There we go. Nice, let's go team. Two treasure hunter stacks for me, that was huge. Making shit happen. Can't go for Gromp there. Do we get the mid turret too? Not quite, but we got some damage off on it. My wave. Oh, what? How did she die? That was unnecessary. I'll go top now because I don't have... Like, we're not going to be able to get the mid lane turret when they have this much wave clear. Olaf should be coming with me. He's being so lazy. My skin is cool. <laughs> and he's using Tibbers for her vision. This could be good, though. Oh, god, she sped up. Okay. Nice one. He's gonna flash on me. Yep, he did. Please, Olaf! Please! Ah, oh, god damn it. Why, man? Why? Why does he have everything up? Pult and flash. Where's the gun of worry now? Honestly though, so far this game I've not been CC'd like at all. I've barely had a use for cleanse. It's annoying because every every game that I run cleanse instead of ghost because I really need it. They just never end up actually using abilities on me. So lame. I didn't run ghost for nothing. Let's get the red buff. And the golems while we're at it. Poppy's farming mid anyway. Exploit their mistakes. Oh, I'm on red stacks, my bad. Oh, exactly where he's walking. Get up. Stand firm. They're not doing Baron, are they? No. Just getting some mana from that. I think she has ult back up, probably, almost certainly. If I have my ult, why wouldn't she have hers? They're about similar cooldowns, I think. Actually, hers is definitely a little longer, I think. I really hope we get this rake, we really need it. Amomo? Wait, what? Wait, how does... How does Cho'Gath have zero stacks on his ultimate? I'm almost right to call him out. What the fuck? He's trolling. He's gotta, he's gotta be. Void rule number one. Don't die. Ooh. 
No, he was way too impatient with the ult. He didn't actually need to use it. Got him in such a fuck spot here. Okay, nice. Thankfully no one went on me. Oh. Got him. <gasps> oh, not even close. I should have cleansed sooner. I was just cleansing the slow. Just to get out of his range. Worked out though. Where's the Mozahar? Mid. <laughs> Alright, that's a lot of gold for me. Um, what do we want to do here? I think Phantom Dancer or Runans could be fine. Bloodthirster would also be nice, but I just can't complete it yet. Hmm. I think I'll go for Runans. Then probably this will build into Vamp Scepter. He is finally using his ult. There we go. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Jesus. I can barely... Auto him through the wall. Hmm, okay, it's not worth ulting on him. God, that's annoying though. I think a moment should have ulted him, that could have been a free kill, for sure. I was able to auto through the wall. <laughs> My run has one shots the <laughs> Mozahar Void links. That is so convenient. Ow. <laughs> Three fucking vision things on the pink. I don't think we want to start that. This guy also looks like he wants to flash ult me. Okay, now we start. Why did I just see like a TP animation there? Okay, nice. Okay, just leave it. Leave it, leave it. No! I said leave it. Okay, we get to keep two burn buffs if we survive here. Come on, come on. God, her speed up. No, you're kidding me! I don't get to keep it then. Okay, I got someone at least. You're kidding me, bro! Disengage there! I went in on them on the brief window where we could actually go in without their team getting there, right? So if I can bring this up in time. Alright, so here... We see Viego's bot right, and I know Shen, I think, also hadn't arrived yet. We have a brief window where we can go aggressive here, but, uh, you know, Mazahar gets away, my team didn't follow up. That's fine. Okay, so we can back off here. He's just so overforcing so hard here, like, he's chasing directly into where their team would be coming from. When we already got, we already won, we got the objective. What more are you pushing for here? Why do you want a fifth, like, why, why do you want a coin flip, a 50-50 fight, when we've already got away with, like, murder there? We traded Baron for one kill, like, that's so good. What are you greeting for? Oh, she might be fucked here. That's not good.
Should be good to base if they actually keep on pushing mid. Uh, they might be coming top though. Nah, they're not. Oh, they're going for Drake. Okay, I need to shove this wave and then just base. Oh man, I'm so close to Bloodthirster. Ah, uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna get the Drake, but I do need to contest or defend these mid waves anyway. Thankfully, my wave is amazing right now. Next item is going to have to be Lord Dominix, I think. Either that or maybe QSS for the Muzzle Herald, but shouldn't really be getting ulted by him anyway, usually. We've got plenty of frontline. If I get ulted by him, it's either because he's running it down or because I'm out of position. So we just need to avoid getting out of position and enjoy if he like decides to basically suicide for ulting me. Flash ulting me. It's fight and flight. Only now I do not run. Oh, this could be very, very good. Can I ult him? There we go. Got um holy shit, nice one. Is that top for some reason? Push here as hard as we can. Engage if we have to. Okay, Shen stays top. We need to engage ASAP, I think, first to Shen ult. Yeah. Oh. Fucking hell, I'm sl perma slowed here, man. Fuck me. This fucking turret here. Actually, I should have left all off of the minions, my bad. Hmm, Olaf has ult, Jogath has ult. What happened there? Was that my bad? Did we overforce? I mean, by the way, when I was saying we need to engage ASAP, I didn't necessarily mean so far away from the rest of the team, right? Like, when Annie's backing off all, like this, that's fine. We just get a free turret, right? This was definitely overforcing, <laughs> for sure. I just thought that maybe it would be best for me to follow it up. God, look how long I was slowed for, though. Like, I'm slowed here, and I get slowed there by the anti exhaust. But she has fucking Rallai, so every time I'm near Tibbers, I'm getting slowed as well. Oh god, what's happening here? They want to hit us up at least. Their Baron is up. Well, Baron is up soon and they would be the ones getting it. The Zaya Vault. I yeah, can't target there. Oh. <gasps> A Moo Moo. What was that? That was so terrible. We've lost. We've lost the fight. We need to get out. He ulted while she was clearly still an ult, bro. <laughs> What the fuck? God, they're probably gonna chase me to my death here. Is there a boss going here? Uh, yeah, there is. Holy fuck. I might still die though. I need to walk over here actually. I may have done it too late. Because Vigo obviously easily cuts me off with where he got blasted to. So I need to keep on running actually. Um, Maybe I can 1v1 any here. Hopefully I didn't get seen there. Okay, Viego. Nice, he didn't see me. What the fucking hell, they have vision here though. <laughs> Jesus. 
Can I finally base? Well, I can walk the base at least. Okay, I wasted a lot of the time with that chase. Uh, they're gonna do... Yeah, they're doing Baron. I think we can do some Samumu spot for some reason. I think half my team is trolling. I mean, I can't... Them, like, how is that Umumu not trolling? Surely he, did, he... Surely he must have done that on purpose, right? And the Shoga still has zero cup spacing on one ult stack. One ult stack, bro. What the fuck is happening this game? I've never seen a Cho'Gath have, z like, one ult stack this late into the game, and zero ult stacks as late as he did. It's just unreal. Should've clan sooner. Fuck me. I tried, my bad. If I clan sooner, I would've saved myself a lot of HP. Well, I guess shit happens, you know, it's, uh, you know, when you get a Cho'Gath with one ult stack 30 minutes into the game, it's, it's just, it's just the sort of thing that happens, you know, happens all the time. Yo, what up gamers, we're back for another Kaisa game. This time the matchup is Kaisa Pike into Varus Nami. Should be a fairly good matchup for us, since we have all the tools we need to take them down. As Nami is pretty weak into engage, and so is Varus. So at least we're bidding them to the level 2, should be easy to find an engage here, or at the very least force them off the wave. Yep, nice one. Nami was not expecting that hook. Was that worth it? Honestly? Probably. Ooh! Got him. Ooh! Ooh! She's gonna flash, thankfully. And I've got Ghost. Holy crap. Close one, close one. God damn it, she freezing that accidentally. Sort of. I have to leave it though. Yeah, that was pretty good. So I pretty much just popped my Ghost there because I knew I could hit him with um, what attacks there and the second one would be the fifth passive stack. So, seems kind of a waste, right? To use Ghost for only like two seconds of the duration. But, it, it got us a kill, I guess. In general, like, you could see it as... You can see activating it there as similar to just activating Ignite for damage. Like, that was the one time where I could use it just for so much damage. At least on the Varus. I was probably not going to get a better opportunity to use it for damage. Or at the very least, I was not guaranteed to. I can guarantee you that I either force Varus' flash there, which would be stupid for him to flash just because of such a minor trade. Or I do a ton of damage to him. And I thought that was a good trade. A good, uh... I'm going. Guarantee. Anyway, Diana should be bot side since I don't believe the enemy bot lane leashed. We had a ward in there blue and we haven't seen Diana yet, so... She must have started red buff. Either that or she's AFK. I don't know. Really? So we're just gonna keep this not exactly frozen, but at the very least not shoving. 
when you're playing with a hook support like pike generally you do want to just keep the wave as close to, as close to your side of the map as possible because it means the enemies have to overextend more for farm putting more at risk of a hook because the further away they are from turret the further they would have to run to safety if they get hooked So we have such a lead right now, I think, that if Pike wanted to, like, E forwards to hook, that would still be worth it, even though it would get a Z off cooldown. Okay, so here we're gonna have to crash, I think. Okay, we've finally seen Diana. Nice try. Nice streak from the Varus. We want to crash her though, just to make sure we get actually get the reset, the whiff to reset. Could also base here instead of just pushing this plating, but I like to keep on the pressure. We'll go ahead and place a ward. So eventually, this is going to push back towards us. And we're going to be able to create a freeze here. I think Lee wants to dive. I would not recommend diving, though. But they have a good question. Do they have flashes back up? Not quite, but they should have it soon. What he could do, though, is gank there. They don't have a ward at the moment. I like ping that they don't have vision. <laughs> I doubt he even knows what that ping means. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever seen anybody use that thing. Oh, careful. Yeah, he's pretty much missed his window now, because they should ward it right now, right? In theory. Oh, they're not actually doing it. Either they don't have trinkets, or they're just dumb. We'll pop the ghost here. Oh, okay, Varus will get away. Part of Nami to run in a direction where it forces us to not be able to chase Varus at the same time. Mmm, another game of we're winning bot lane, but we give up a free Drake. <laughs> Love it. It's happening across both of my accounts right now. Both of the accounts that I play on. The Aren't the Master one and the Kaisa the Diamond one. It's a very common trend somehow. You know, maybe Loser's Q is real. Maybe Riot identifies which junglers get Drakes and which don't. <laughs> I just go like, yeah, you're gonna play only with the junglers that don't get drakes now. Have fun, buddy. Oops, I meant to hit the other one. Anyway. Should we get the base here? Nice one. Um, actually, it's been ages since I did Serrated Dark, but I might just do it here. It sounds good against this lane. Hmm. I think I'll still do Berserkers, though. Serrated and Berserkers. Now, this should make my lane phase really good. necessarily want to start shoving here. It would be nice to get the solo XP, but if Pike gets back into lane, if the lane stays in this state, that could be an easy engage for him. He's still full HP, so he can definitely look for an engage here. So what he should do is just approach the lane from here, W from here, give our stare, maybe use E to get onto him if he needs to. <coughs> use that W a bit early. Wasted some of the movement speed. That works, though. That's one. I believe Pike W is like a burst of movement speed at the start and lowers, so there was no point in him using it that early. I guess he might have been worried they had vision there, but they 
I'm sure they didn't. They had no chance to ward. Either way. The outcome is the same. Pretty solid kill on Tavares. Securing my massive lead. Alright, gonna base here. God, this spike is very active on the map. It's playing well. Let's get the maximum amount of AD possible here. For maximum kill potential. Yeah, gotta watch out for the fact that Versus ult right now. I do not have cleanse. Void rule number one. An ally has been slain. I think they're just really scared of Pike though. <laughs> Ooh, not a good time to engage right as the wave is approaching to block the hook. Okay, that's fine. I can still keep going on Nami though, I guess. But you see, very bad timing. Like, he needed to wait until after the wave had passed. Is there any honey fruits I can pick up? Not yet. Whoa, what the hell, Cassidy? <laughs> what? Well, that should be a free Drake, for sure. Ooh, he wants it. Oh, my lord, his damage. Okay. One for... Two for two. <laughs> Not a Drake for us, though. That was honestly greedy, just because we could've, uh... Oh. Yeah, we could've got away with, uh, getting the free Drake there. Like, uh, it, honestly, usually I'd say that's a fine trade. I'm just triggered recently because of all the fucking early souls the enemy, th enemy teams keep getting. And I'm just like on the... Like, so nervous every game. Like, oh, they're getting a Drake. Oh, they're getting a fucking Drake. Oh, we could've got a Drake there. I shouldn't be prioritizing... Like, in theory, it should be fine to not prioritize them so heavily. But when you keep giving up a fucking soul every single game, even when you have a massive bolt lane lead, it's so fucking dumb. We need to try and get this Drake. We don't need to, but I really would like it for peace of mind. Just to make sure the enemies don't get it. Oh god, he's so fucking dead here, I think. Yikes. Did he not have E? What he should have done was EW. Looks like we're giving up a Drake. Oh, who could have seen that coming? And I can blue trink it. Oh. Nice freaking try. Oh boy. Does he at least live? Oh my lord. Um. Where's Varus? Let's want to try and get Varus. Oh, what the hell? Where did I come from there? I return stronger than I left. Gonna try and hit him with W. What? Where is he? What? Come on. Where the fuck? Do they know I'm here? Did he see me go for the W? Where is he going if not into lane? Oh. Wait. Oh. He doesn't even see me there, but he did have a, did have a vague idea that I was around. Alright, I can just base for a Kraken Slayer. That's fine. Wave is pushing towards us, so... Whereas misses more from than I do for this. So this is insanely stupid of them. What if we were here? What the fuck? They actually get to shove in that wave. That's so dumb. 
because they took a dumb risk. They still could easily die of good ult. Got a very low range on it at the moment though. Careful. Oh man. Honestly, fuck it. Go in. Oh. Okay, I guess Varus didn't have ult because he didn't use it there. Well, that's, that's lame. <laughs> If only we just camped here, man. I thought they'd be more careful than that. He's definitely gonna back up now. Ah, oh, Pike. Come on. Fuck me, this root. Ah, I'm just... Barely dead there. Okay, at least it goes to Nami. Holy fuck. I got rid of it so fast, I feel like. Could have played that any differently. Oh, right, it. Yeah. No, I just got rid of it extremely fast after attacking Varus, but the root was sitting there for ages before he actually got hooked. Yeah, no, not really anything I could have done better there, I suppose. If I, like, if I'm hitting Varus, I have to be in his ult range. If I, like, really the only thing we could have done better there was, like, actually hooking sooner, not being so patient. Oh, to be fair though, I think I did use my E too early while I was still rooted. Ah, right, too late now. Maybe if I'd used that immediately as the root ended, maybe I would have got out of turret range in time. Nice one. Cool. How the fuck is Nami so fat actually? What the hell? <laughs> She's more fat than I am. Two more assists, same kills. Actually, maybe I should have been going in on her there. Just standing near him so I get the XP from him killing the wards. What the fuck? Free threat for us. So far, I gotta say, I don't think the uh, Sword of Dark has been paying off. We'd be getting the same kills either way. Oh, hello. I'm so fucked here, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> you must have TP'd there, right? Yeah. My bad, I guess. I got outplayed. If anything, what I should have done was try and burst down one of the squishies. Probably Nami is the most. Yeah, definitely Nami is the most likely to die there. Burst the shield bow. What are you doing? What are you doing? He keeps using his ult when it's not gonna kill or stun with his E. Oh, this sucks. They're just playing better as a team, right? And they're about to get a third trick. We're hard winning bot lane, man. How do we keep giving up every Drake? Doesn't make any sense, bro. Harry should lift us up. Game after game, account after account. They get third Drake at 18 minutes well, with a hard losing bot lane. How, man? Oh man. Oh, or is there? Did she get him? Oh thank god. I need to get out. Monsters are everywhere. Maybe we can gank Camille here. This skin is and honed by they have vision, obviously. Lost gun. We can maybe get Dana here, though. And no, Pike isn't. Or Lee isn't moving. He's going for the farm.
But now there's a decent chance to have vision there. Maybe we can get casted in. Yeah, red buff would be free, but casted in is way more valuable to get. We can get him. We can definitely get him. Ooh, okay, let's go. Use this flash just to still die. I'm not gonna kill. Yep, way more worth than going for the red buff. I should have pop goes faster, damn it. Oh, I didn't even get the assist, though. It doesn't matter. Come on. I <laughs> can't keep tanking this. Oh, thank God. Did he smite him? Yeah, he did. Nice. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, let's go. I've got no worry. <laughs> need to get out now. Uh, can I help him? I don't think I can. I need to leave him to die. Fuck, I might get collapsed on by Camille now for trying to help. Unless she already finished the base. Looks like she did. No, oh, she just didn't move. Trying to cheese Ari, maybe. They are so, so getting a fucking 23 minute soul mine just like every other fucking game. <laughs> oh man. Those part is the jungler is not out jungling ours. She's 0, 5, and 4. But she sneaked a random fucking Drake for no fucking reason and has put them on the path of early soul. When combined with other fuck ups on our behalf. Yeah, they may be on Baron here. Okay. That could have been a really good hook if it hit that. I'll be back. Hold our ground. Attack enemies. Right before Drake as well. Ooh. Damn. If only to hit that one. Ooh. Fuck. No! You're kidding me, I lost vision. It's getting on me. Or Camille, let's get Camille. Get me out. Varus will beat me now. I mean, maybe he doesn't. Like, it, it would be dependent on what cooldowns he has. But I do not know that he doesn't have the cooldowns. Can't take the risk. He's also got more lifestyle than me, so... I don't know why he's backing off. He's just letting me get a free wave here. He could get that, wave, that top lane wave any time. He could at least zone me mid while he gets one farm. Oh, I can solo the streak! Wait, what the fuck? If if Camille or De or uh, Cassidy don't have TP, I definitely get this 100%. What the fuck is Varus playing at here? Please don't have TP. Please don't have TP. They're, they're not even up in time, I don't think. Oh, Casnado. Okay, they're TPing. They're too far away. Let's fucking go. Holy shit, they don't get soul at 23 minutes. Thank God. Jesus, okay. I can get Eovolve already by going for Lecter. Ooh, I think I need to help out Gangplank here. Ooh. Wow, nice one. Let's go, buddy. <gasps> no, he missed it. I 
I haven't even spent my gold yet, bro. I'd really rather not fight. I want a base. I hope they don't have vision here, though. So what do I buy? Nah, I'm not gonna go for Collector. It's too shit up full build. I'll go for Runance, then Bloodthirster, then maybe sell Collect or Spread of Dirk for or Dominix. <laughs> Can I get this Wolf animation cancel? What the fuck? There we go. Ah, uh, no. Why are they fighting? <laughs> Hasn't turned out too bad. Can I imagine if I was around? That's the disadvantage of having to fucking base, like... If I had been able to base instead of doing the Drake, I could have been around for the fight and we would have based them and probably got a Baron. So that's why, like, if, even if you can buy for something minor, like even the Lost Whisper, a lot of the time it's better to just stay grouped anyway. Like, even if Lost Whisper would be a decent price spike, a lot of the time it's better to stay grouped anyway, just to be around for any fucking random fiesta ass fight that's gonna happen. No matter how brain dead stupid it is. Because you can never predict these things in solo queue. Oh, fuck me. Ah, I'm so fucked here, my bad. I made a bad play there. Now me, uh, ult is the main thing I didn't account for. Okay, it was guaranteed CC at that angle. Oh, not bad. Pike missed ult, didn't he? Yep. Ah, god. Close. It's not too bad, they don't have enough numbers to do Baron, I don't think. Okay, Drake up in two minutes. We can't afford to make any mistakes like that right before the Drake. I saw this for BF Sword. Oh, nearly got it. They might just be rushing Baron. I'm gonna walk up and just press W on it. They could be cheesing it as three. Okay, they're not. Just checking. Fight or flight. Only now I do not run. I don't know why they're grouped here. They should be grouped mid lane, getting me prowl, so I can actually shove mid. See, so look, their team has the right idea. Their jungler is mid, the mid laner is mid, ball laner is mid. They want to shove this wave before we shove it, because that gives them a window to go into the river sooner than us and clear vision, place vision. My team is just busy, like, clowning around in the jungle for some reason. Oh, no, he's dead. Nothing to do to save him. Fuck me. You're kidding me, bro. I should have just ulted fucking Varus to escape. I could have killed him easily. What a clown fiesta game, man. They're gonna get they're gonna get the soul now. We just needed mid pro. God, they might just rush Baron. Yeah, no, they're gonna rush it. I need to go Baron instead of red buff. <clears throat> they're not actually doing it. Okay, I can get red. 
God, Kassadin is going to be so bursty now. Hmm, look at this build. Maybe I'll sell my Death Sword for Lost Whisper, actually. I didn't expect him to get this much armor. Oh. He's got no Zanias. God damn it. Ah, oh, dude, I'm DC permanently. God damn it. Started with Nami R, turn into Verisol, turn into Camille. Lovely. Yeah, I think I. I don't know, I don't want to sell this, but. What if I sell Serrated Dirk, actually? That makes a whole lot more sense. Actually, I can do it for Bloodthirst as well. Is that worth it? No. Yeah, we'll do this. Hopefully, I get Lord Dominic soon. The upside isn't better than Serrated Dirk, but at least it builds into what I need to build after Lord Dominic's. Somebody should get bought. I guess it's gonna be me. Let's cast it in. We're never gonna catch him. He's baiting. There's somebody here, Camille. Oh, Dana, apparently. What the fuck? How is she buffing up the minions from there? Yeah, if anything, we should call up some Dana here. Oh, what? How the fuck? Show me, show me. Oh, thank God. What the hell? She seemed to have vision there. Okay, I got Lord Dominic's, that's huge. One burn buff down, but that doesn't matter too much. Okay, nice. They better than Nami ult. Just don't fight for now. This might be good, but I don't have ult. Ow, what the hell then, Ami? No, Lee. Fuck me, I'm about to die to this castle. <laughs> Fuck's sake, guys, why? What is the point? Just defend. Oh, no. Okay. Perfectly time barrel, actually. Holy fuck, well done. Gone from 9 and 2 to 9 and 6, man. We have not had a nearly winnable fight. At least not while I was alive. <laughs> That's funny. Oh no. I guess it's the Navi. They probably end now. Well, eh, Ari's up in 15, but she's not gonna do much. We Maybe Leak is gonna be enough to defend them. Defend just by diving on them. But I really, oh, yeah, no, it's not in time. Unlucky. Zero Drakes when we stop, but the funny thing is, this is not the first time I've had a support point this out in the past 24 hours. Not the first game this has happened, not even close. But it, it is the second time that a support has actually pointed out, like, we were stomping, but how the fuck did they get every Drake? Good question, Pike. Yo, what up gamers, we are back for another Kaisa game. This time the matchup is going to be Kaisa Blitzcrank into Kaisa Lux. Uh, Zaya Lux, sorry, I always mix those names up. Is real. Fear. So, I think this should be a pretty good matchup for us. Lux is a really good laner, but she's definitely very vulnerable to, to unengaged, such as Blitzcranks. Especially because of the fact oh, that she he pulls her... I'm going to pop Ghost here so I can get out of Zaya's range. Hmm, okay. Ooh, actually, this could be very good. I've still got Ghost active. Leave it to me. Nice one, guys. Thank you. So I was trying to avoid taking as much uh, 
I was trying to avoid hitting Zyther until after she'd already been engaged on by Nunu. Uh, because I want to make sure that I'm not getting mini aggro before uh, my Nunu is actually joined in the fight. I don't want to be taking a bunch of fucking damage there. And give Zaya potentially a chance to... Spurs me down there. Oh. <gasps> so close, man. So close. Okay, let's recall. That was so close to being so good, though. That was absolutely a freak if we got her. But yeah, uh, Lux is kind of vulnerable to engage. I mean, usually you'd kind of be afraid of engaging into Lux, but Blitzcrank pulling her into us just kind of makes things easy. Since it isolates her from Zaya, makes it a basically 2v1. And if we pull Zaya, same thing happens. It's a pretty good response to this lane. I'm gonna level W here, I might need it for lost setting. Well, actually, I shouldn't do, but. I'm gonna start prepping the costers. Damn it. Okay, I do need it. Okay, my Q perhaps these perfectly. Oh, what is Blitzcrank doing there? Oh no. Alright. I don't know what that was about. Oh, God, you're kidding me. Really, man? <laughs> Alain started off so well. They could potentially dive me. I'm not confident enough that I could actually play this. Maybe if I had Ghost up. She's gonna be doing Golems. Oh, man. Um, she could die here. She's gonna die. She's 100% dead here already. There we go. <gasps> Come on! Okay, there we go. Need to get away from Zaya here if I can. Come on, pull someone in. No! God damn it, I needed that hook to land. Ah, damn it. Oh boy, that should have been a one fight, honestly. If Fliss landed the hook. Oh well. I'm also so sad that I had to like go in a lot deeper for Diana than I wanted to, just because... She just barely flushed into the Lux W in time. Oh well. This could be good though. Oh, Blitz. You started off so well. That's a Diddy? Can't remember now if he actually landed a good hook or not. Oh no. This should be this should be me cleaning up no matter what though. Perfect. If she doesn't have flash, she's dead as well. Perfect. There we go. That's what we want. That's how we do it. They did? Sure did, buddy. <laughs> Trying to crash this, but it's gonna take forever. Did I crash this in time? Hmm. Gonna have to hope I did. Or I'm gonna have to settle for whatever the outcome is. I don't have time to shove a cannon wave, sadly. That should be fine. The skin grows restless. An ally has been slain. Could I be next? Firm, 
This world is changing. We decide into what.
surrounded by nothingness but i was never alone memories comfort like the closest companion sorry i don't know how long i've had my mic muted whoops hopefully not too long one she's actually recalling i just want to show this in and then i'll help with the drake just setting up all the minions to be as low as possible so that our q execute actually gets some mileage nice one Oh god, finally a game where we're getting early drakes. At least the one of the first two. Can't remember the last time I got one of the first two drakes. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. She is... yeah, I was gonna say either gonna be dead there or gonna have to flash. That's a... no, he didn't... oh, he's, we still killed him, nice. But yeah, he didn't see Chen in time. He could easily, like, if, if he's not fast enough to execute the QE... Uh, without leaving any window where the Nazi is then he can just ult mid-Q. That way, at least the call would have gone to me, most likely, but it will. Alright, I'm gonna base, we're gonna worry. But this game is looking promising, despite the 2 and 8 Scion. Oh lord, they <laughs> were. I think I'll do Renance. Although, mmm. Well, it's definitely gonna be Bloodthirster third or fourth. I guess that comp. They basically got two assassins, one ranged assassin in Lux, I guess. Ow. Could have dodged that, my bad. That's a kill. Nice. See, that time he CC chained properly, or at least if she would had a window to ult, she didn't take it. But I knew that if she didn't manage to use ult in time, before the knock-up, she would die there. Her burst is too fast. Okay, nice. with the herald that I, I would like to go for red buff but I don't know that it's safe Can we get top lane through it that should be doable without even using herald I hope okay nice one I think I will just do ooh. Come on, fight. Hmm, okay, I don't want to ult in. To an unknown amount of enemies. Why does she even go in there if she wasn't going to try and kill me? Does she not have ult? Why fight if no ult? 
Oh, that's a Gwen. Shit. I can't follow up on a Gwen, man. She's saving her until I actually try and follow up is the thing. Yeah, that's... Not a champion I want to get a melee range of. At least now she doesn't have it. So now it's just a free win. A lot just to be safe. <laughs> Don't want to risk somehow dying there. Oh boy. Let's us also. If he were to grab her, we probably one shot her. But I don't want to. I don't want to actively force it, especially not going into their jungle, into their territory where they have their team. But we need to be getting ready for this trick. We just wasted so much fucking time, man. Thankfully, the hextech case will get us there fast. Leave the red for me too. Got it. Yeah. Next up, I'll do vamp scepter. Thing is, I love doing Vamp Scepter when you rush Renance because it makes your life still off of waves so fast. Even if we delay the Bloodthirst to Overshield for a bit, just as so long as I at least have double life still, both through, you know, Bloodline and Vamp Scepter, that's already going to be huge, especially paired with the Renance for really fast life stealing. I'm going to push this real fast. Should I, well, actually, should I have been joining in there? Shit, maybe I should have fucked. My bad. Oh no. Oh, it's too late now. Did she use E? I doubt it. I'm gonna keep pushing. Cannon and Herald. This is an inhib. This has gotta be an inhib. They did not see this coming. Perfect. Alright, that's all we can take. Huge. Massively chunk on one of the Nexus Tours too, I hope. Yep. No! Oh, whoa! Did that almost that almost fucking took it? Jesus Christ. That was unexpected. Ah, I was trying to kill it without having to go over the wall. Uh no, we don't want to rush that. Baron is like the next ne next natural place for them to check. What the fuck? I think they knew I was here. Alright, I'm gonna base for vamps up there. Definitely don't need Lord Dominic's this early on. We will probably get it later on though, since... Wukong Tabi's, Dana is gonna have some tank item. When we'll have Zanya's. Oh, was she low at least? She was. Maybe I can do something with this. Their team is in a position to do Baron, so. Yeah, that should be free. I'll pop the ghost just to get her faster. Hopefully, save this turret. Ah, didn't take the turret. Oh well, save the turret, sorry. Can they even force Baron here, though? Zaz is not in position. I'm just gonna keep pushing at least one wave here. He's wasting a lot of their time when they would want to be starting Baron here. As long as they're not in position to start Baron, I can just keep pushing. I think uh, they are in position now though. <laughs> I need to leave. <laughs> mm, why is Nunu recalling as well? That's not what we needed here. Zaz is even low that we can definitely win a fight. We need to contest this. Oh, I didn't even need to flash for that. This is so troll. My bad. I should have waited to see if my Q would kill. My Q or Blitz Ignite. I'll get rid of this just because why not. Probably is a bit overkill, but just in case. Alright, cool. So I managed to shove in bot waves, get a ton of farm there. Also rotate here in time to clean up the fight. This game has to be won by now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Damn it, I only wanted the small one. I didn't think that through. You can have this for sure. What the fuck? Why is it over there? There you go, buddy. Wait, he really wants to hand it. Ah, oh, God. What are we doing here? I'm so fucked. My bad. <laughs> I wasn't looking. My bad. Trolling over Gromp. <laughs> My bad. Alright, go blood this to least. Let's go get this red buff. I need to remember to use these portals, man. Diana? She's trolling, I guess. I'll take it. <laughs> Jesus. Nice one, guys. Oh, nice one. That guy. Yeah, this goddamn melee, man. I was thinking of ulting onto Gwen there. Nah, just keep pushing. We don't need to get the Drake right now. Do we have one Baron buff up? We do. <laughs> that Wukong got hella fucking baited. I was not punishable there. I had too much appeal for my team. Alright, that should be game. They could have defended on the Nexus Terrace instead of fighting there. That was really bad. Goodbye turret. <laughs> oh, so close. Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> All right, GG. Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another Kaisa game. This time, the matchup is, matchup is gonna be Kaisa Volkos into Jinx. Orn. So usually if you're playing Kai'Sa into Jinx, I would much rather my support be, be something with Engage. So we can actually close that gap. And, you know, actually get to hit the Jinx. Uh, Volkaz himself is decent at the Jinx though, because he has the range to actually like harass her. But it's not really a good combination with Kai'Sa. However, uh, Orn is the kind of thing, like, he doesn't really have too much pressure in lane. And his Engage is like really short ranged, so he doesn't have too much... Uh, engaged to actually deal with the Volkas himself and nor is he gonna be too much of an issue for me I hope either so should be an alright matchup for us oh, okay, we're not gonna beat them to level 2 here but at least we will match them I don't know why Jinx doesn't just hit that minion for level 2 <laughs> I'm just gonna dash directly into Jinx here I think yep there we go Going out the Orn now. Ooh. I just barely didn't uh, reset my passive on him. That could have been so much more damage. Still. A lot of good damage there. Once Orn has his abilities on cooldown, I know I can just get onto Jinx freely there. I don't have to be afraid of getting pummeled by Orn. Hmm. My Q was in range of Jinx, but my auto wasn't. I would have thought it was the other way around. They thought it had more range than Q. So I've got my E to just get out of Warren's range whenever he's trying to set up a knockup. <laughs> Valkos just hit absolutely nothing after using like 150 mana or something. See, that's how you do it, Valkos. At least that's the right idea. Hang on. 
Oh no, the minions are gone. Shove it. Well, cause ah fuck, why am I under threat here? Just gonna play some vision. Does Lee get her? Just shove it. Just shove it. Just shove it. Finally, Lee. Okay, thank you, Volkos, for taking aggro there. That was huge. Um, I don't want to shove this, goddammit, but I guess we'll have to. Since the minions, minions aggro not the Volkos, it was quite unfortunate. Not really his fault. All right, definitely could have played that overall cleaner, I think. But oh well, it was a kill. Although it's really more of an assist for me. This place is beautiful. I'm going to save it. Actually, no. Dagger, we discussed this last time, didn't we? Dagger's better. Foster Berserkers as well. Survival means never stop. The void She might be in trouble there. Or... Oh, wow. I don't think Yoni had to flash out there, though. At least not before she jumps in. Yeah, so an engage support would have really punished Jinx for going in there, though. But an engage support is also probably not as good in Thorn as Volkos is. Do we have any vision? I don't have a trinket. Now that is Volkos, unfortunately. I don't know whether one is in this brush, actually, or whether he's somewhere else. Okay, he's not there. Gonna make sure we're not just overextending here, though. While well, we don't have vision. Focus on the trinket up. Should place it somewhere either there or there. We need to get rid of this blast con. Okay, perfect. I don't know about rushing Drake, but... We can maybe do something on bot lane. Gonna go in. Got some auto, my bad. There's also gonna be an echo here. I think. I thought I saw him. There he is. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this Leeson is also so low. No, he just hit level 6. You're kidding me now, Orin kills me. Wait, he didn't even use ult. What the fuck? Holy shit, if he lives here. And does Zorn die? Holy shit, that's a kill for me. Let's go. That's so lucky. Holy crap. Echo had plenty of time to level up his ultimate. <laughs> Alright, leave the whiff. Leave the whiff. Leave it. Leave it. Oh well. To look at Priest though. I'd like to shove some waves here and then maybe consider either placing Vision or maybe doing Drake if Lee's around. Just want to ping it. I don't necessarily want to do it right now, but we should get it at some point. Just want to make sure we're not giving that up like we usually do in all of my games. I'll consider trying to steal it with my W, but I don't want to commit any more than that. 
Nice. Oh, this guy's level 6 now. <laughs> Gotta love the sustain from Cole. It's, uh, it's really adding up. Probably would have had a pop uh, potion by now if not for Cole. Not ideal. I think what we could do here is have Blee do his red buff and then we just do the Drake. We can even just solo the Drake and we just make sure we have Bolt Impral so they can't get... They can't collapse on them. Ooh. Okay. Sadly, I can't get onto Jinx there. No W. Okay, wow. If she'd gotten marked there, I could have ulted her. She's smart. The Flash. I don't have mana. So I'm gonna shove this way without using mana. Just in case I need to use ult or something. There might also be a fight if they try and save this turret. Well, they're not gonna... We're not gonna get the turret, but... Save the platings, save the turret HP, whatever. I'll go ghost if I need it. No, we're all good. Stay alert. Stay aggressive. Exploit them. Nice one. I'm just gonna base, I got a lot of gold to spend. It's a shame we didn't get Jinx in the end. If he knocks her up, he's gonna step around the traps. Oh, I didn't need the ghost. Alright. Hopefully I can get on with this, maybe? <laughs> Hardly needed the ghost for this, but... Got him. And I can conveniently just blast on out. <laughs> well, at least aim your AUE, right? This barely did any damage onto the costers. <laughs> Now that's uh that's a lead. Now we truly are ahead. <clears throat> he actually already dodged it, I think, but uh better safe than sorry. Oh that's fine. I have enough for a longsword here, which should be 
to evolve soon, right? Ooh. Okay, one for one, barely. Yep, got kill evolve. How is this not? There we go. I'll go bot. All cuz can solo farm mid. Yeah, I already marked that. I only just noticed she was recalling, goddammit. Should have cancelled that sooner. I couldn't kill her since I don't have ult, but. <laughs> for sure, should not have let her get that recall for free. Not worth getting that ward, we'll just rush mid in case there's anything we can do. I think I don't think there is, I'll just get the Skittle Crab instead. Skittle Crab is a lot of gold. Look at that, it's basically a cannon. Four more gold than a cannon. Ow. Nice one. This is really trying to hold me. I might be able to escape here. No, I just needed him to get close enough that I could ult over the wall. Sad. Okay. At least Drake isn't up yet. Drake is up in 20. Might be able to get Jinx here, actually. Oh man, if I just hit that. Oh boy, that's one fucked ball cause. Ow. Okay, well, we're giving up the Drake, I guess. What is Lee doing? You're kidding me, he's back. Ah, oh, couldn't ult him. Fuck me, my bad. Shouldn't have died there, my bad. That was really troll. Ah. I thought they were just gonna go for Drake. Instead, they three men collapse on me. I wondered. So, currently he's top. Yeah, he just shoved in that wave and then just rotated mid. My bad. I'm sad though, I had a real window to just kill Jinx for free. I'm just unlucky my W didn't land. I mean, it is unlucky, because I mean, it's not like she ju juked it, right? I just had to like try and predict where she was going to move. Could still kill her now if I could land it on her. But no idea where she is now. Gotta remember Mordekaz is still a ult. I think he only used Protobot to get me. Oh. Wait, fuck. Now I don't have Ghost to get her. God damn, this minion just moved out of the way. Oh well. Alright, ult for Ghost. Not bad. Ah, oh, they see us now. Thought it couldn't be a kill though. I even ulted in a bad spot, I should have ulted into melee range over. I was just trying to avoid uh, splitting my Q onto Mordekaiser which is why I went so far away, but that was a mistake.
Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't do that. Oh man, that's so unlucky. Holy fuck, that Lee almost killed Echo too. Oh. Okay. Fucking hell. Wait, Echo has no ult. But the minions are in the way. I can't fight her. We're just permanently unnumbered because Vayne doesn't group to once. At least she gets the turret now, right? Yeah. I can't take age on Jinx here, I'm too low. And I have uh, no mana, and my, and my Q wouldn't have isolation because of the wave. So try not to die to her, Volkos. Just gonna stand in a way where she, if she has ult, I can block the ultimate for Volkos. I don't know why he's sticking around on this HP, just recall. I don't need this wave for Navori, but I'd like to get Pryo if I can. And hold on to the call if possible. Alright, that should be good enough. Okay, what am I building this game? Um, I think Lord Dominic's third could be good here. Starting to get a lot of armor on a lot of different people. Tabby's and Zanya's, Tabby's and Zanya's, Tabby's, armor, armor mythic. It's already a lot more than usual, even though they don't have a, an actual tank besides their support. Who usually I wouldn't bother building Lord Dominic's for. Can't really gank more to Kazer because it'll just ult me and 1v1 me. <laughs> Alright, goodbye Tristana. Maybe we could just rush Baron. I doubt it. We could try though. They're spending way too much time on this. If we just rush this. Like, if Vayne helps us here. Vayne, Vayne, Vayne. Influence the game for once, dude. What the fuck? Who cares about the farm? She's by far the person here who does the most damage to Baron. I need to go on Jinx. I can't even. I'll get her. Okay. Where is Vayne? Oh god, Jonah is... Coming back here. And he's still full HP. Yep, Vayne is indeed trolling. <gasps> You're kidding me! Oh no, I'm so fucking sad, bro. That should have been a free... Well, not free survival, but... Why didn't they just go do Baron is the most confusing thing. They pretty much chased us. Except for Vayne, who wasn't gonna do anything. Just chase me for the kill. I guess I should be happy about that. But I, I could have lived as well. That's the worst part. They threw the Baron and then I also could... To, like, they threw the Baron to chase me. And I also could have lived on top of them. Giving up the Baron, you know? I could have played that better. Made it an even better outcome than it was. Okay, well, if we lose this game, it's going to be because of Vayne. So I might lose this queue. Let me check what Vayne's match history is like. Could Riot predict that Vayne would troll this this hard? Taking a while for OPG to load her match history. Mm, I mean, she's lost like two out of her three past games, but she was doing well in most of them. Uh, 
like nothing for me to do here. I'll go get Scuttle Crab and also Ball in farm. I can't really push mid here. The best objective I can get here is just free farm. Maybe they're blue buff as well if it's up actually. No, okay. Could check Gromp, but I mean it's more valuable to just pick up this free farm before it hits the turret. Or before I lose too much of it to the threat since this is inevitable now. God damn it, I missed far too much there than I should have. Okay, that's base. <gasps> the fucking Rala is slow. What? Oh, thank god. God damn it, this cute cooldown is just too low, though. Wait, bro, this fucking combo is so busted. What? Protobot with Rala is... I've never... Had, I don't know how I've never faced that before, but that was absurd. I had zero chance of escaping there. Holy shit. Doesn't help, of course, that we're playing 4v5. It's Eldoran's blade for Lord Dominic's, but it doesn't matter. They're not gonna keep fighting here anyway, so I don't need the extra damage yet. I can just hold on to my Doran's blade for now. Whoops, don't know why I kept cancelling my auto there. Oop, should I have got Lord Dominix? I'll pop Ghost here. Got him. Echo? What the fuck? Now we get Yone too, what the fuck? The hell? What are you guys doing? Okay, that's Vayne and Mordekaiser are old. Holy fuck, what the hell? What can we get here? Not much. Basically just a turret. Two turrets, maybe. Maybe an inhib if we're lucky, but I don't think so. A lot of camps, maybe. No red buff. I think we can get an inhib, actually. Look what happens when Bane doesn't troll. Restoring alive for now. Now Jinx as well. Yeah, it's a free head. Now leave, leave, leave. I need to like recall here, I guess, and then just rush that Drake case up. But it's more important to recall than rush the Drake, I think. I need to spend my gold. Yeah, we'll go full damage. I don't want to go vamps up there. Okay, we give up the tricks then. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> How did that happen? Maybe we can get Mordekaiser, Bane has ult. Come on. Okay, okay, Jesus, okay. <laughs> Too dead. 
feel like I should press this advantage, but can't push alone here. Oh, I shouldn't have ulted, by the way, on Mordekaiser. Sorry, I panicked. He flashed on me, by the way, didn't he? Might get cut out here, we'll see. <laughs> Let's see, like, I can't predict her moving up for no reason when uh, she was previously just standing still in the middle of the lane. That's what I mean when I say it's unlucky that my W doesn't land. I can make a when it's all, it's lucky when it lands, it's unlucky when it doesn't, pretty much. There's no guarantee. Survivor. I just want to stick around for one more wave. Then I'd have to sell Doran's Blade for Runans. We'll Maybe we can bait something here. Yep. Ow! Jesus, wait, that fucked me. That fucked me hard. We did it. Nice one. No, you're kidding me. I know she even orders me while I'm invisible. God, that sucks, bro. I was almost out of the fucking Yone ult. Man. Five seconds of CC. You're kidding me. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a free brown for us, though. Goddamn. What happened here? Everybody just ignored in vain. We just killed them without vain. That's fine. All good. Oh. Shit. That's not good, though. I can't actually... Oh, what? How did he die here? Excuse me? Let me revisit that. Oh, okay. I didn't... Why would I shoot him while he's there, though? Excuse me? Okay, so... I target him while he's here? What? That's so crazy. Huh. Uh, anyway, I can give up Scepter now. <laughs> Ghost Vein. Love it. Oh yeah, why am I going bot? I don't even know. I'm trolling. That even land, it doesn't. <laughs> Got it. The enemy's inhibitor is respawning. We need to make sure they don't get the streak, by the way. Oh, no, Vayne, what are you doing? That is way too risky positioning, bro. Fuck me. I'll let her life steal. She needs it more than me. Okay. Fuck me, I'm trolling. I didn't even notice how many were here. My bad. I should have walked around. Fuck, I almost killed Jinx though. It was so close. Although I died, we might end up still better off here for getting the streak. Unless they're life still, which Yone is. Come on, get it, get it. The jungler isn't around. Okay. Four people for Vayne. We got the Drake. So what's funny is that even though Vayne spent half the game trolling and she only has four cold participation, she's still the strongest person on our team right now. So she just straight up skills better than me as Kaisa. 
And she's level 18 as well from only like from like never grouping, only ever getting solo XP. But, um, let's go. That should be the end. Who the fuck put a surrender vote here? Why is Vokal's recalling? So many questions. So little answers. Okay, I just need to dodge the Yoni ult with my E. Got her. Never mind, we just win. <laughs> oh, thank God, GG. Alright, gamers, we're back for another Kaisa game. This time we're going to be playing Kaisa with Thresh into Caitlyn Lux. Which is not a right matchup. It's not as good as, like, Blitzcrank would have been. But at least we got some engaged to deal with them. Otherwise, this matchup would be pure pain. Which is still my very well B just depends on how fresh plays mainly foul play doesn't really matter too much oh. wait did they do our red buff or we did their blue oh this is good yeah when I said that it doesn't matter how much how well I play by the way it's not about deflecting blame it's also it's also it's also about passing praise to Thresh like even if I play really well I would not win this lane 1v2 is what I'm saying right so if we win it's gonna be entirely thanks to Thresh playing well enough which so far good start I landed the one hook he has thrown. <laughs> and it led to a double kill. Nice one. Not the way you start every game, but definitely a desirable way. Damn it, they didn't get level 2 though. That's alright. So maybe I should have done longsword and dagger here. It is just should have more combat stats and the foster berserkers as well. I won't care too much though if I can still get berserkers on my next base. Oh, we just barely get it in time. Thank God. It's not too bad if Thresh gets poked down, so long as he's able to still land a hook. They kind of need to focus me in the fight or lose, usually. Just depends, though, on how low he gets. Okay, nice one. That should be another kill, I believe. See, so they get Thresh, but we, they still lose the fight, right? Oh. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to get Lux. Oh. Still hit by the binding even though it disengaged. Nice. Trying to not give him away, but <laughs> doesn't help much. Okay, actually, I don't want to crash this because this is not going to crash in time anyway. I need to shove one more wave after this. I don't know why these minions advance. That's kind of annoying. Doesn't matter too much, I guess. Oh man, why? All the minions focus the minion that's like furthest away from them, like it doesn't make any sense.
Alright, nice. Madams are perfect. Wait, is this the same vein as before? Oh no, okay, it's a different one. She's hard, kind of picked by Teemo though. See what I mean? We live and die by the Thresh. How I play this lane? Doesn't matter as much in comparison. At least I managed to turn that into not a disaster when it looked like he might have died. Turned into not a bad trade. Currently I don't have W to burst down whoever he hooks though. Gonna go place a trinket. Exploit their mistakes. Maybe I should have blocked that for him actually. Oh well, too late now. I barely did that did 30 damage, bro. Got her. And I should live here. Lee, you're gonna have to cover Lux here. No, I'm dead. Fuck, she. Oh, wait, am I? No, dude, she didn't have mana until she's randomly dead. God, that sucks. Oh well. Ooh, Echo. Way too impatient with the Q there. I'll just keep this. Let me see what happens to Kaelin's or to Lux's mana here. Okay. No, she's like 50 mana. Does her Q really cost... Does it cost 50 mana? Shut down. Wait, it costs less than that. What? I was surrounded by no, it must be 50 minimum. I, I can't believe it's not like 60 though. What the fuck? Oh well. Oh, what's going on here? What the fuck? What was that? <laughs> Live and die by the thresh. Got her. Now we got Lux to... Ah. Good timing the last hit though. Oh well. We'll make kill and miss too much farm here, but still, I do need to shove this so I can just spend my gold. But which I now have a lot. Oh, actually, what I would have preferred for push to do here is walk all the way around and then maybe we just cheese Caitlyn. Mm, she actually arrived with Flux anyway, though. Wouldn't have worked out too well. Maybe we should have stayed cheese, I don't know. This is more guaranteed at least. Especially if we can freeze here, that would be so nice. Drag it up here, drag it up here. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Continue dragging it up, try not to lose the aggro. Perfect! Ah, but they're walking into the turret for no reason, why do they keep moving? They were all out of turret range and then suddenly they're all in range except for this one. Oh well. He still delayed it crashing though. Didn't make zero difference. Hmm. Not gonna work out. <laughs> what are you pinging Thresh for? 
That was just not a gankable position. Not with how they reacted, at least. Nice, another dra another game of getting an early Drake. Ah! Please don't have ult. She has ult. Lux sake, man, I hate Lux lanes. Ugh, Lux Caitlyn. Oh, he's dead. He didn't... He couldn't afford to walk back into the Luxie. Alright, my bad. That was on me. As far as I could tell, Caitlyn was alone. I didn't think I read of this, man. I want to see the map there. Yeah, no sign of Lux. Still a good play from her. This is why Cleanse would also be good in this matchup, obviously. Like, it definitely... In the 2v2 matchup, it is better. I'm just counting on Ghost bringing me more value overall. Which it may have already done, anyway. I managed... This is the first time I actually needed Cleanse. If the first time you need it is by level 7, then you're pro probably doing pretty well without it. Yep, perfect. Just cancel recalls. That's fine. Let's engage her. We can definitely dive her though. He just needs to walk up and play. Oh god. Please! No! Fuck. What a waste of a ghost. I shouldn't have done that. Unlucky. Shame. <laughs> At least I got my mythic. Would have also been so much better if I had my ultimate just to get my auto attack reset. Actually, did Thresh tank that? Actually, I'll get my mythic first. Hang on. Now walk into lane. There we go. Okay. The Thresh tanked that for as long as he could have. Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Look at how low he got at one point. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, he played that as well as he could. The miracle he even lived as long as he could. As he did, sorry. Um. Damn it! She's standing right at a W ball spot, then I cast it, and then she moves out of the way. So unlucky. Gotta watch out for Caitlyn having go for us as well now. Oh. No, come on. I got her. <gasps> I didn't mean to go into turret there. That could have been a huge mistake. Okay, I'm a bit lucky here. Got um, Nice one. Huge. Well played Thrash. That was actually really well played, I think. He did a really good job of keeping Lee off of me. If we're in low elo, they wouldn't have even used the E. I don't know if he did that on purpose as well, but he was also standing in front of the potential Lee Q, so he couldn't hit me with Q. I think it was on purpose. Just no way for Lee to kill me there if Thresh plays it right. Unless he flashes on me. With Flash it's easy, but I guess he didn't have it. Nice one. So as I said, we live and die by the Thresh, and the Thresh is living, I guess. Sadly, probably gonna give up a turret here. Oh, she does zero damage, maybe not. Oh, where's the- Did she place a trap? I can't tell. Is there a trap there? Bro, Kayla makes me so paranoid. I swear, she, I, swear I heard the sound of a trap, but maybe I'm trolling. Yeah, it's good we didn't give it up, because it would be first turret. We would like to avoid handing that over. Possible. Maybe our team gets it soon. Oh! I needed to dodge that. Alright, that's fine. Well, I didn't need to, but it... Like, I don't know why Lux isn't just bursting me, like... 
was thinking earlier, like, I guess she didn't have ult, but she, d she definitely should have ult now, right? So, why not burst me, even if I'm still gonna kill Caitlyn anyway? Like, at least burst me back, right? Get me low, so maybe I can't dive you here. Yep. No, they ended up getting pressed her just on a different lane. Oh, well. <laughs> wow, both of us were so close to getting first threat as well. By the way, I think the only way this matchup is playable for Vayne is if she runs cleanse. The team has such a hard counter. I don't know if she blind picked or opted into the matchup, but either way, it's a bit unfortunate. I think we'll do Bloodthirster here. I think it's gonna be- it's gotta be Bloodthirster. Mmm, he should not be trying to do this. Yeah, we're gonna take a lot of damage pretty much guaranteed from Team Mushrooms throughout the entire game. That we can't avoid and we wanna make sure we're healthy. Yeah, we're not getting that trick, I don't think. Even their Teemo is here, so honestly, just give it. Just, uh... Enjoy the fact that Vayne is hopefully going to get a free turret here, and I'm going to try and help her. Okay, red is up. I'll take that first. Oh, pink there. They know I'm here. By the way, their team also doesn't really have much front line. Pretty much their entire team is a front line, as far as we're concerned. Like, the only people who are good, who are melee are just people who want to one-shot me. So, it's especially valuable to go tanky here, so that the people who are going to be trying to kill me just can't. And they have no response to me. But it's going to be much more damage to survive here than to, like, maximize our damage, for sure. We may also want to consider doing um, QSS relatively early on, maybe right after Bloodthirster to get rid of the Teemo blind, since a lot of the time he will be the only frontline we can hit. I'm assuming he doesn't want me to have that. I could take it anyway, but I'll not take it just to not piss him off. Getting honey fruit just for the mana. We could also use the QSS for the Lux combo, of course. It's good in more ways than one here. Is he gonna get him? I don't think so. <laughs> Ooh. Holy crap, I got an assist. Okay. So I can do with life stealing off these minions as hard as possible in a game like this. Nice one. But you see how, like, Timo is basically frontlining there? Because he doesn't have a frontline. Oh god. Okay, I die here, but that's that's uh, as good an outcome as we were gonna get, I guess. I think what I should have done. Hang on. How oh, close am I? Okay, I basically got it. Cool. So what I should have done actually is, hang on, I'll show you exactly where I messed up here. I shouldn't have stopped here to cast another auto. What I needed, to, I had already marked them, so I could ult if if I needed to in case he like flash ulted me or something. Uh, but I needed to at least let it, like, let him have to either chase into me where my team is damaging him, so he has to ult somebody else, or force his flash if he wants to ult me, in which case, I think he ended up doing, like, 
ult into me and then flash in the same direction where I ulted, which was a bit unfortunate. But, uh... Like, it was easily avoidable if I'd just, uh, not been so aggressive there, auto-attacking him. When the first auto-attack for the mark on the ultimate was all I needed. After that, my, my emphasis should have just been on getting away from him. Making sure he has to ult somebody else, or flash onto me if he wants to ult me. Should've, uh... Oh, fuck me. Oof. I should've been able to do more to him there. I'm sad. Oh, well. Ow. This is why we need Bloodthirster. Because all this damage we're going to take is so unavoidable. Doesn't have Leandris yet, at least. <laughs> Ooh, Caitlyn. Thresh, way too aggressive. When they were clearly cooking something. Ooh, this is good, though. Just don't let Lee get enraged to ult me. Perfect. Can I go in here? Ooh, close one. Oh, my lord. Oh, if that kills me, I'm gonna be so fucking sad. Holy shit. I just barely live. My lord, okay. Nice one, Talon. Let's fucking go. Can we get the strike? Should be able to. Who's up? Just the Zed. Where's the fucking Zed, though? I don't know. I need Vayne to come here. Okay, Zed seems to be mid. Okay, we get it for free. Perfect. Now we get QSS. I'll shove the midway first, I guess. We get Q-Evolve at... Uh, sorry, Evolve at level 14, by the way. So we're one level up away. Usually you get it around the time you finish Bloodthirster, if you're doing Bloodthirster 3rd. But since I'm so ahead this game and I completed it so early, I'm still only... I was still only level 12. Which is definitely... I don't know, it's, it's an argument in favor of doing, like, Zeal, if you're ahead. But, that's the thing, is Bloodthirster is a better item if you're ahead than Runance, right? <laughs> So I'd still probably rather just go for Bloodthirster third and just accept the delayed evolve. I can maybe get kill in here. Nah, the minions are gonna be in the way now. Ooh, almost landed. And it might have been in range for ult. Get her. Okay, nice one. Thrash. Yeah, I'm all for this Baron idea, honestly. But I guess we're not gonna do it. Wait, the red is up now. Wait, why is it still up? I can take that. I thought Echo wanted it. Well, she is very dead here. Stopwatch or no stopwatch. That was a huge waste. I should have ghosted there so I could keep pushing here. Yeah, I definitely could have done something more if I just ghost. Okay. Still heard that though. Oh, and I didn't notice this, my bad. We got him. Nice one. What are we doing? Inhib? Yeah, I guess Inhib is fine. Then maybe we can also do Baron. I think it I got left still anyway. Okay, I don't think we're gonna do Baron. I got the blue though. Honestly, I'd rather go to me than Talon. Nice. 
Because I'm going to be spamming my abilities a whole lot more than him. Alright, got Renance. Yeah, because I'm Navori, I just use my abilities more than he does. I hope I goes fine there, but I don't want to risk it turning into a double kill for them. An ally has been slain. Well, hopefully that's not a Baron for them. That doesn't inspire confidence that this won't turn into a Baron for them. Fuck it, Zed. Holy shit. Damn it. No! He just barely got me. Fuck! Of course, it's two games in a row. Vayne not interacting with the game, but... Hopefully she gets something here at least. She has three co-participation men. Oh, I don't know. What could I have done better there? Let's see. I think using either was a mistake. I'm forced to use my ultimate here just to avoid his shurikens. When it could have just been my E. And that was fine. Don't know what the fuck Thresh or Zed was trying there. That was a uh, nice juke on the Luxol. Nice juke on that. So I think I think I got Greedy Trent to finish Lee here. I think what I should have done was, uh, like, look at, look at Killen, she's in thing, she's in thing. If Thresh flays her, she's dead. I should have just gone on Killen, yeah, I, did, I just straight up did not notice that. We'll get a red elixir for now. Can we get the strike? Close one. We tried. Not much to do. Kill on the price. I don't think that brand means too much if we have a super. Or, well, actually, two in hips. Nice. Two is worth of super minions and still enough of a lead to beat them in team fights as well, I think. I should probably get Red Trinket, by the way, to avoid two mushrooms. Steal as much as I can here. I don't need to use Q. I want to conserve mana by not using Q since my Renan's is such a good wave clear now, anyway. Just some quick poke on Teemo there. Using stealth instead of just walking up to him just so he can't Q us and so he can't block that one auto. Wait, what? Huh, the W gives me vision of the brush, but it doesn't give me vision of the ward. That's weird. Oh, that should be a free call. Oh, come on. How did I step on the trap accident? Ah! Hit the lifesteal. <gasps> I'm barely lifestealing because of the fucking Baron buff, bro. Is there wolves? That should be a call. Perfect. There we go. Huge. Yeah, good damn Baron <laughs> minion damage reduction. Makes it so hard to lifesteal off of what should have been a ton of lifesteal. There we go, now I'm healing. <sighs> no way. No, the Zed Shurik- How is he still alive, actually? What? Oh, I thought I assumed that killed him there. I'll check that in a sec. Hmm, not bad. Got another elixir here. Okay, how did I not kill him? Oh, the blind- Oh, the blind actually- I, I 
It came in one second, one auto sooner than I expected. Oh man, that's so unlucky if I just killed him. That shuriken would not have hit me, and then I would not have died. Oh well. Okay, I'm really I'm full build now. I'm as strong as I will be. Let's try and end sooner rather than later, before my lead stops being relevant as they all catch up. Forgot the guy about Chica, but I don't think it's worth turning back for. Wait, you're kidding me. Didn't expect the team mushroom, my bad. This is so fucked, actually. That's on me. Uh, we only went one for one on Baltan as well. Yeah, I don't know what is the point of being Baltan, though. That's a good point. Oh, I can't reach her. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Gonna stick around for the inhib. Hopefully, I don't run into any more shrooms. Yeah. Okay, oh, damn it, Drake in 27. Well, this is not the soul for either one of us. Exploit their mistakes. Maybe I can like try and pressure the inhib here. Zed is up though, and I don't have ult. I think I gotta directly contest if anything. They're not on it. I shouldn't have eat. Okay, I actually live here. No life steal. Uh, all of, only off of Drake, really. Holy crap! He did so much damage to Vin. Where he died. Guys, I guess Lee isn't coming. Okay, we can just end. Nice one. Uh, but he needs to get these minions. All of them are ignoring them. Nice, finally Bane does something. Hello. GG. Yo, what up, gamers? We're back for another Kaisa game. This time, the matchup is going to be Kaisa Nautilus into Jinx Organa, which is annoying because we have a really good matchup for the Jinx, except for the fact that Morgana hard counters Nautilus, so. We'll see how the magic goes if she doesn't spell shield in time. Can still be okay. And we're also starting with no summoners because of a level 1 invade. Unfortunately, I had to use both of my summoners to escape that. Now, if you're wondering, but if they focused you, then how does Syndra have a death? Well, that's because after I had to burn my summoners here, Syndra felt bad for the enemies that they didn't get to kill me, so she bravely walked into the river and walked into them and gave them a free kill. What a hero. She just wants everybody to be happy. I, I get to be happy because I survived their gank, and they get to be happy because they, they, they get a kill from their invade, you know? Everybody wins. Ooh. Alright, that's fine. God, I might actually lose here, we'll see. Ooh, 
Oh, thank God. I didn't want to trade one for auto. One auto for one auto again there. Thank God, thank God. I think Nellis was trying to hand over the kill to me, so she ended up dying to his ignite when she could have just died to his auto. He definitely needed to just auto her to finish her off. Because I could easily live here instead of trading one for one. Alright, that worked out really well for having no summoners. That would have been so easy if I actually had summoners. If I could have just cleansed the... We're gonna ignite already, that would have been something. Anyway, they both have no summoners now. Now nobody has summoners, now we're all happy. Ooh, this could be good. Nautilus is flash. I'm gonna try and remove this minion. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter anymore. I wanted to move it out of the way because it was actually getting in the way of Nautilus Hook onto Jinx. Ow. Yep, just go in here. This is free as fuck. Oh. Damn it. Maybe not free as fuck then. Yeah, we actually waited so Ah, oh, we needed to make our play so much sooner, man. How could we not? Just go for her before the Morgana showed up back up. Oh well. Still a solid HP lead for us, but could have been so much better. Bear in mind, by the way, the Morgana spell shield also blocks magic damage, which can be bad into Kaisa. Ooh, wow, nice one. Oh my god, she blocked the fucking W. That sucks. Yeah, so my passive is doing less damage than it should be. Because of the Morgana spell shield. I'll constantly block my damage. I basically have no on hit and then my entire... Big passive hit gets blocked as well. Does this hit her? Ah, the Morgana's smart enough to block. It might have otherwise. She was positioning like she wanted to get hit by it, it was weird. I feel like I got ignited by Morgana again there, right? Not entirely sure. But we've nearly got Nautilus Ignite back up. But why would she have it if he didn't? Maybe because of Cosmic Insight. I got Cleanse here if I need it. Nice. Got him. And we got Jinx too. <gasps> the level up. Doesn't matter. Nice one, Nautilus. Huge. I got cleanse. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. What are you doing? What am I doing? Setting this up for Syndra, I guess. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm so dead. Ah, oh, man. My bad. We trolled that. We shouldn't have gone in there. This is my uh, sudden realization that they have a cane, though, by the way. Did not know until this moment. Do I go mid here? I suppose, yeah. Sandra won't get it. Such a nice wave as well. Yeah, Jinx also has the same idea, but she's not arriving to as big a wave as I am. This is better for me than for her. We don't stick around and shove another wave. We just leave. Jinx should not also be sticking around for another wave. Actually, maybe we just gank her? Nah. Oh, are they on the Drake? Shit. No, I guess they're not. Hmm. Sindra could have done a better job of punishing her there, but...
Was Jinx? Did she just base immediately after shoving one wave or well two waves? I guess she did. Oh god, I actually got hit by that. Wait, fuck. Okay, nice. I've still got ult. Hmm, okay. And <laughs> she's dead without me needing to ult. Nice one, Nautilus, by the way, for not taking that kill. That was actually so much restraint. Would have been so easy for him to take that. I think he deliberately cancelled his auto. Not bad. Could really do with getting a Drake at some point. Before Kane gets one. Nice vision on it is good, so we know if he's on it. What did I end up cleansing, by the way? Was I just cleansing Morganic Knight, or did I just panic? I think I wanted to avoid the Jinx ult, actually. I was like, oh, no, gotta get rid of this root now. Oh. Um. This is not ideal for me. Man. I gotta go for my farm. I'm not gonna get anything here. Well, they don't have vision here. Whoa, that looks is fast. What the fuck? Kane is super low as well. Come on, no! Fuck, now how do I get out of here? I'm so screwed. Yeah, fuck me. My bad. God damn it, I can't believe that I just lost vision immediately. Oh well. At least I don't get a Drake for now. Yeah, he's got a good point. Probably wasn't a smart play to go for in the first place. But it probably also should have been a guaranteed kill if I just had vision here or just immediately warded. Didn't have too much of a window to ward though, like as soon as I got in there. It already dodged one auto pretty much. Focus Jinx. So on the bright side, because my passive is magic damage, we just removed the Jinx um, Morgana shield. So it's kind of like a blessing and a curse, the fact that you deal magic damage as Kai'Sa. Because at the same time, if Nautilus is patient with a CC, at the very least, I can break the magic damage shield for him, and then he can actually CC. Anyway, so far, I gotta say though, we're doing pretty well for a counter matchup for Nautilus. It's so a mix of Nautilus playing really well, Morgana not playing amazingly. Damn, I didn't get my kill off. Come on. Okay, nice. And the kill goes to me, I love it. With Berserkers, that's just an easy dodge. I don't care too much about like not getting these casters. What I don't want is for them to shove really fast and crash a wave into my turret and get free platings. So that's why I want to get rid of the casters, just purely so they can't push with those. Please don't cancel. Oh god damn, she's gonna cancel me eventually. Even if she doesn't already know that I'm here, she's gonna find out. Stay alert. Stay aggressive. Oh, they're gonna push with this wave. Oh well. 
Definitely not worth delaying my base, I just need to spend my gold, get my mythic, get my kill off. Nailing it. <laughs> so close, if he didn't get hit by Luxult, he had that. Oh well. Yeah, I wonder if Lux is Relentless Hunter, by the way. Because she fell really fast in the river. Okay, doesn't matter. I'll cleanse the exhaust. What the fuck? Come on! I'm so screwed if he has ult. <gasps> Come on! No! Damn it! Ah, oh, that sucks. I was so close to escaping if only he didn't have smart for the slow. Oh well. Mm, can't get pickaxe, but I don't want to sell a long sword. Okay, Nautilus did kind of troll that though. You see how he overlapped his his root with his ult there. Boom. Okay, Kane drops out of the knock up, and suddenly he can already move, even though Nautilus has the root available because he just already wasted the root while he was knocked up. He actually could have saved me there, but oh well. Oh, I'll make mistakes. Not me, obviously. But lesser life forms, I can understand. There's a little bit of a risk. Actually, yeah, Nautilus is not even popping here. This is more than just a little bit of a risk. Where the hell is he popping? I'll get this turret. <laughs> I guess I'll just get the fucking turret. What the fuck is she doing here as well? Okay, I barely got it. What the fuck, though? What is that? Oh, well. Do I even want Quick Cloak over Cole? 7 AD versus no AD. Sounds like a bad trade to me. I'm gonna hold on to it. Damn, my turret just ended up being a turret for turret, but... Better than nothing. What the fuck is going on here, man? Maybe I should have gone to defend mid. I was only coming bot because I had, there was a small chance I could maybe kill Jinx if she overextended, but she never came. She never stayed. I can already base for Cole. I gotta do that. Sorry, not for Cole, for uh, Navori if I saw Cole. I believe, right? Please don't tell me I got the math wrong. Yeah, there we go.
Come on, please die. I don't want to overextend for that. Oh, we almost got Ken. No, come on. You're fucking shitting me. How did I not even get Morgana? Oh. I cleanse something and got immediately rid of by something else. Yeah, I think I cleansed the Lux Q, got immediately rid of by Morgana Q. I was only flashing there so I could kill both of them at the same time. But I couldn't fucking reach Morgana because of all the roots. Oh well. Alright, what am I gonna go for here? I think, uh, Bloodthirster could be good. The team is mostly assassin. Assassin based at least. And Bloodthirster is the best response for that. They did a really good job of making Bloodthirster a better response to... High damage comps. By making it cheaper, making this shield bigger. I wasn't even aiming for her, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, we should have... We should start her, uh, Herald, actually. Should have already started it. Or we can go for Lux, or both. Yeah, they get Lux, we'll get this. Fuck. There we go. Can somebody else get that? I want to get the mid farm. <laughs> Thank you, Syndra. Nice, they didn't attack their window to push mid. They were intimidated by Nautilus. Oh, shit. My bad. See, the thing is, who expects me to run into the brush like that? <laughs> I feel like that's such an unexpected play that they shouldn't have been trying to cheese me there. What world was I actually going to run into that brush? The fact that it was so unexpected is why I do it. I like usually I'd get away with that. Oh well. Meanwhile, holy crap, this herald putting in work. Nice one, Syndra. She got 650 gold from this, but that's alright. Still got a massive lead over her, unless she's got a lot of unspent gold. Oh, that's not ideal. Just checking. Oh, what the hell? She went for our red buff? That was so risky. Fuck, if only- Ah, oh, if only I had fucking- doesn't matter, I still- wouldn't I be able to kill her through Kane anyway? What the fuck is this collapse? Okay, I got her. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck? I don't know. They probably didn't even have vision here. They just ran bot lane to check if I was there and I was. Trying to punish Jinx. Oh, wow, that was easily avoidable. <laughs> Jinx. Like, she's, she's genuinely bad. She's not good. <laughs> she's getting bailed out so hard by her team. I was so troll to try and duel a Jace four levels or three levels up on her. He, he even messed up and she still got destroyed. Fuck it, I want a Soldier and Split here. I do not wish to grow old in one. May as well wait. I'm not going to be getting Evolve until I either get a Dagger, or I get level 14. Probably 14. I may want to do Lord Dominic's next. Because this guy already has a heavy armor item. But we'll see. If the rest of our team doesn't get anything else by the time I have to decide my next item, I'll just go Runance.
think we may need to back him up here. Easy. Is he gonna be fine? I think so. Can we go top here? Yeah, we need to try and help top here, I think. Be the difference maker in this fight. If necessary. If ne- if Oh, she could have just waited, man. She could have waited and I would have been there. She got greedy. Kane wants this. Probably can't contest it. We should just get the Drake. Nice one. I came for the hunt. Stress is massive. Ooh, this red buff should be free. Kid didn't even go for raptors. What? We'll take those now. We can't risk this actually. Okay, I got one kill. Where is he? I need vision. Oh, okay, here we go. Holy fuck, the fact that we didn't have vision in that exact corner he was in, that was so unlucky. <laughs> Thank god we got it anyway. Uh, fuck it, I can sell Durance Blade. I'll do Renance. There we go. I got cleanse if I needed uh, to survive, and I still got her, nice. Thought she would live. I was fine with just burning the flash. Oh, that's fine. Fuck, he hit me. No! Need to flash out so he can't ult me. <laughs> Might have been close. Could have done with hitting that, but... Holy shit! Was alive? Lux! Holy shit, I almost got minion blocked. I couldn't move to the left enough. If she aimed it more to the left, that would have been fucked. Oh man, he should have left those minions for me to life still off of, but... I'll be fine. <gasps> Thank god I life stilled as much as I did. Oh. <gasps> she got knocked to the side! Okay. Please let me life still. Let me life still. Finally. Keep letting me life still. Thank you. Dead. I think I got her. Wow, he hasn't again? So close. I listened. <laughs> GG. God, we're on such a winning streak now. Yo, what up, gamers? We're back for another Kaisi game. This time we're going to be playing Kaisa Ash into Varus Karma, which sounds like a terrible matchup for me. 
since this is the kind of opponents that we want some engage to deal with as Kaisa, since we don't have the range to match their trades. Or the trading power, even if we, even if we could reach them. Uh, but unfortunately, instead of engage, we have Ash. So unless Ash can pearl, pull a miracle out of her ass, or if the enemy vault in plays extremely fucking bad, we should expect this matchup to not be a favorable one. Especially because it's uh, Hail of Blades Varus is going to be even stronger in trades. Should be even harder to... Like, we have to play even better or him even worse to actually come out on... Uh, come out below and trades against us. So far, so good, though. They had the leash. We didn't. So, just getting some free poke on them at the moment. That's a pretty solid start. Varus does have three potions, though, so he's not out of the lane or anything. Okay, we see Viego topside. Won't even bother placing a ward. So on the bright side, Ash W also means uh, easy Kai'Sa W to land. Wait, he didn't heal. He didn't heal. What? Wow. Anyway, I was just focusing Varus there because I, my assumption was either one of them would live anyway because they flash away or they heal it. And so I may as well just uh, focus all my damage onto the one who's more valuable to actually deal damage to, Varus. Since now the one of them are going to die anyway, right? As low as Karma may have seemed, she wasn't going to die. But then, Varus just doesn't heal. Don't know what that was about. Missing these last hits, but I will. There we go. Not bad, not bad. So in the end, we get kind of like this matchup has definitely been influenced heavily by the fact. Uh, they have vision there or what? But the fact that uh, we didn't have the leash and they did has been a heavy advantage. I need to back all the way off and actually get this recall off. I can't keep laning with no items when I have this lead. On the bright side, they seem to be wasting time that they could be spending shoving. Nice. There we go. Yep, they needed to crash this a lot faster. I'll be missing a lot less farm than I should have here. With any luck, I won't even miss the cannon. Although it is the only front line at the moment for this wave, so it might just end up dying. We'll see. Ooh, yes, but this is actually so unlucky. So you see that how this melee walks forwards? Uh, and thanks all of the rest of the wave. That means none of their melees actually walk forwards to take the aggro of my casters, meaning the cannon is guaranteed to die. But I definitely arrived to more than one wave here, which is better than I should have expected. I thought she would have that. Okay, not bad. This world is we decide. Ooh, hello. Is he alone here? I think he is. He should die here. He has heal, by the way, probably. I assume. I gotta assume he has heal. Yep. Oh. There we go. Well, Spheris is not the brightest bulb in the... Lamp. Get a base here. It won't see me here, right? I predicted that I would have based there last time. When the most obvious choice would have been here. <laughs> For once, I won't buy coal. <sighs> as much as I felt tempted to there. It's much better on first base than second base.
Yeah, I think for sure the main thing that has gone wrong bot lane besides uh, the fact that they had the Lucian we didn't is just Karma has not had the pressure she should have. Bad Karmas are just so fucking useless. Oh, what the fuck is she running for a strike for as well? That's garbage. Oh no, I should have been more patient. Instead of trying to kill Steel, I should have. Ah, it doesn't matter, I still get her. Oh, I'll get her. Get her quick. Activate. it. Okay, we got her, I hope. Is that an enemy vehicle? Yeah, he is around. Just not gonna be able to save her. I guess in the end that worked out even better than if I. Oh, he's got to be somewhere here. Ah, she's here? Oh. This is fine. Won't even use ult. Don't need to. Nice one. Yeah, it worked out even better than if I just saved W to kill her. But that's pure hindsight. I, d uh, I still maintain that I should have... Uh... What the fuck? She could have waited and just got a freer hit here. I gotta thank it for Ringar. Cause I could either uh, grow so much more easily than he does. Alright, I'm gonna leave the rest of this. I'll get two. Or, no, nah, I'll just get one potion. Don't want to overdo it. Fight hard. You are a living legend. Zayas, Cross Broth, and you play weak side. True, but I'm guessing what Silas is referring to is the fact that Rango was in the area when his wave was fucked. And so, whether he's playing around bot or not, he could have easily been around to make sure he was safe. Oh. Okay, nice. Got him. So we need to focus, even though Ash to the Karma there, that would have been a huge throw to go on Karma. We have to focus Varus. If I'd gone on Karma there, I guarantee you we would have been cleaned up by Varus. Oh, he's actually only the Fidelity Varus anyway, but... So that means he doesn't actually have as much DPS. But still, like, especially if I go hit by the Varus ult. Which I definitely would have if I path towards Karma. I think I would have just got one shot there. I need to kill Varus so he doesn't kill me. Then we clean up the Karma. Nothing the reverse, because the Karma's never gonna clean me up, right? We need Varus dead first, all, every time. Unless we're just so massively headed. Like, we do have a massive lead though, but I still feel like I would have died there. They don't do zero damage to me. Alright. I got Kraken Slayer. Hello, pink. It's not worth cancelling my recall. Get him, Rengar. Ooh, he has vision. <laughs> nice. We can just drag it out for me. Drag it out, drag it out, drag it out. Yeah, that's fine. He would have been a saint to actually just spend all that time freezing that wave instead of taking it for himself. Can't have such unrealistic expectations for my teammates. I definitely would not have done... Well, uh, sometimes I do this jungle. Depends. How much I trust my teammates. Usually I would just farm it for myself, though. Has been slain. 
Hello. How the fuck do I still get aggro there? Nice, I got the crack as lure proc, that's what I wanted. Oh. I don't know about that one. Okay, one for one. Was it a shutdown though? It was a 600 Tavares, bro. That was not worth it at all. I don't even know what he was thinking there, but... This is free. I need Ash to take aggro. Take aggro. Thank you. Huge. Uh, you can, you're, you're done now. <laughs> okay. I think she was worried that I would get uh, growth as soon as she left, but we still had one minion left. Okay, nice one. You see, I mean, he does damage. Almost died there. But ignore them in that fight where Ash ulted Karma. That would have been a throw for sure. Ooh, wow, that Biego was probably just very close to killing me there. Okay, so I may have just found out, or recently found out, what was making me struggle so much with... with the animation... Evolve animation cancels. I feel like there's a... a win or a, like an area where you can click the ability to level it up. But it doesn't actually go through. I feel like that's where I was going wrong, and now I'm just always clicking like the bottom of the ability, which works so much better. <laughs> He's just trying to maximize the amount of farm you guess before he dies. You got most of it. Well, the, with the level up at least it works, but I feel like with the animation cancel, or with the, you know, with the evolves rather, there's just like a place where you just can't click it. Even though it, your mouse is over the visual part. You see Viego. Top side, so I don't have to be afraid here. I can just steal away this. If we're lucky, maybe red buff is up too. Not up. That's a rent. So if we can maybe get this karma. Maybe not. What was that word? Was it here? I don't fucking know, man. Can't siege against the Nanivia. Will Annie get the Bolt Inform in time? Survival means never stop. The void is too. Tried. Ooh, I just wasted E. Oh no. Oh, okay. Did she not throw kill me? Why not? I still can't. <laughs> yeah, her wave clear is insane. Just need to farm until Novori anyway. In fact, maybe we can just rotate top here. I think they have vision. Ooh. Or do they? Oh, he has vision there, yeah. Down there, I was surrounded by nothing. But I was never alone. Maybe we get an of you here though. Man, if I should just saved her Ooh, doesn't matter. <laughs> you would say if I should just saved her ultimate for this play, that would have been so much better and so much more consistent, but we got the kill anyway. Of course, there's any splash, but I will. Goddamn. Might be able to get this right now, but probably not. Probably we'll just go for the Drake. It's not up yet, though. We should definitely try. Oh, we got a Herald. Maybe it's two turrets then. May as well. Uh. I'll go flash if I need it. <laughs> Alright, there we go.
What a child. I'm guessing she was referring to Varus. Nice one. For what, man? For what? For what? Way too goddamn risky. Does he live? Nope. See, now we don't even have a way to secure the Drake. Can't complain too much in a game this thumpy, but... We throw, we know why. What do we say? Do we still want to try? I don't think so. No, I think we should just base. Please don't tell me the straight cancels my fucking base. Oh my god, I don't want to do it. I don't, we we don't ha we don't have vision here. We don't have the numbers. We just let them have it. It's not the end of the world, I think. Or actually, with Annie here, fuck it, let's go for it. Got him. There we go. Damn it. No, that was not even worth it. God damn, my bad. <coughs> what am I getting now? Renans, maybe? Yeah, no, it's far too greedy. Maybe if she had just died to that auto. Then maybe I could have just turned on Varus and killed him. But I think definitely anything that involved me flashing on Karma here, too risky to go for. Maybe I could have. Also, should have just gone for my W there. W and then leave as well. That would have also worked if Varus didn't block it. Um, yeah, let's do Renance. Alright, let's see. Hmm, I don't know, that worked. I the void. But I feel like ever since I started aiming for like the center of the ability rather than the top, it just works so much smoother. Go get it. <laughs> Definitely not worth diving in there for one kill. Nice one. I'm gonna push top. We should be. We should have a, at least one person pushing top and more people pushing bot. No point in anybody being mid at the moment. Oh, this Olaf is strong actually. Look at his farm. He's literally with 10 CS per minute. What the fuck? Oh. He even lost the fight on jungle in uh, at Drake, brother. Yep. <laughs> I'm not necessarily the person that wants to be pushing here, by the way. Yeah, definitely not by myself, at least. I'm just gonna leave, and I guess group bot. Actually, so you know what I would like for my team to do here, if I could actually communicate it to them properly, and if they hadn't already committed to bot? Is that we should all group in whichever lane Olaf is in. Why? Because he's the strongest member, the strongest person who could like 1v1 anybody. So anybody that, that's in the lane, we would need at least more than one person to match him. And so if we if we don't have that, then we can't push that lane with the Baron. This is uh an ideal. Do I wanna go in here? I don't think I do. 
Ooh, I wanna go on the Nibby here though, maybe? Maybe. Just don't get egg. Thank God for Runes, baby. No, come on. No, you're kidding me. That was so fucking close. I don't know if not die, man. I thought it was going to die to red. I probably would have lived just to the fucking triumph. God, that blows. Oh, well. So, so, so close. Uh, could I have done anything better there? Let me see. I just can't believe Olaf doesn't die there, bro. I definitely, uh, so I wasn't expecting him to turn into Salas either. I didn't really pay attention to who had died there, so I didn't uh, play around him being able to use E uh, chains there. Could I have re-engaged on Twolaf at some point? Not really. And well, saw this for Bloodduster. And it's too late for that idea of uh, pushing bot and top together. No more Baron buffs. I survived the void, but here is where my Let's get the spirit. The strike. Can I get Varus here? Probably not. Yes, I can. Question is, do I die as well? Probably not. Nice one. Oh, didn't notice Viego. Okay, at least he lives. Nice one. Ow. Oh man, what a streak run. Winner's Q enabled. Yo, what up gamers? We're back for another Kaisa game and probably gonna be the final one of the video. So let's hope we can just end it on a good note after such a good streak. This time we're gonna be playing Kaisa Hammerdinger and two Jinx Swain, which again, uh, if we're playing against Jinx, we would prefer to have a support that provides some engage. But at least Hammer's still pretty good in lane and even his E can act as a form of engage. We can try and capitalize on it at least, so. Any luck should be a more than playable matchup. And of course, last game showed us that no matter how unplayable the matchup seems like it may be, there's always a shot. This time the enemies don't have to leash, though. Here we go, early level 2. I'm gonna rush in. Gonna pop the ghost for more damage. There we go. Perfect. So, bad trade in the sense that I took a lot more damage than Jinx did, but I overall dealt a lot more damage than they did, and we forced a heal, we forced a flash. The most important one being flash, since the heal is basically equal value to the ghost, I would say. <coughs> this could be a very good counter gank if Kha'Zix shows up. Gonna try and bait him by going as overextended as possible. Oh, he just left already. What the fuck? So much for baiting by pushing then. Swear to god, if I die here trying to ward. Okay. Guess a uh, ward there will be good. Okay, at least it pushes back to us.
Yeah, we can enter and move over to there. Seems Kha'Zix also wants this. Uh, Heimer. What the fuck? I don't know what... I, I don't know what, was, what I was doing tanking the Swain W. I just wanted to tank the Jinx W. What the fuck did he do as I left the lane? What the hell? At least he lived. He also burnt the Jinx Flash, as far as I know. Nope. Hit the one that I didn't want him to hit. I actually got two lost hits there. Like, I didn't bother trying to hit one because his turret was going to get the lost hit for him. Then the other one that he wasn't going to get, he stole it with the auto. Get up. Stand firm. Ow. Ah, that had just landed. And I missed a cannon while going for that. Jeffro couldn't have helped us out after I helped him with the scuttle, man. They're so gankable. Yeah, hard to dodge that as Heimer. That's in a really bad spot for him to dodge. If he lands like a E here, I'm in perfect position to just capitalize with a W. Ooh. Nah, oh, fuck me. My bad. No, my bad. Oh man, but our lane was going so good though. Yeah, what do you want me to do? I was mashing flash. So good until he just randomly engaged. Or I don't know what happened. Like, he, mu he must have engaged, right? Like, I don't get how on earth he could have ended up in the posi position he did as I was walking away. Oh man, so tragic to end up losing lane from such a good start. Can't even crash this properly either since it's a cannon wave, but we'll try. I'm missing all the lost hits still. Okay, we got the cannon at least. Yeah, Jinx oh, Jinx is actually only 0, zero, zero. That's actually not bad then. It's only Swain that has the kill. That's cool. Uh, what's going on here? Just to disengage. It's a good day for a hunter. There we go. Again, I take way more damage than Jinx there, because I was only trading on the Swain, but overall I deal much more damage. Hopefully that matters later on. J4, just go in, just go in, just go in. It's already the perfect position. Swain way overextended there. Got him. Oh god, I didn't even notice the Vulcan's Q. Well, that blows. This is the notice I moment I noticed they have a mid lane Vulcan's, by the way. Okay, nice. This could be huge. We get a Triumph proc? Ow. Oh, God. Come on. If I could just get mana for Q. God damn it, I didn't get the fucking mana. Ah, my bad. I was so fucking close, man. I can't. Tragic. Ooh. Oh, the barrier. Wait, he died anyway. What the fuck happened there? The turrets get him? Nice one. I've got ult, but I don't think I want to go in here. If he, ult if he stuns him, though, then... Ah, God, he doesn't even stun him, so I was going in for nothing. I was getting ready to ult in. <laughs> Hazix <laughs> just died and ran immediately back bot. That's how long the fight was going. Okay, what did Jinx get though? She only got one assist. That's not bad. I got three co out of all that. 
But god, I'm so fucking sad that I wasted my flash and so much HP on uh, trying to kill Kha'Zix. I didn't even- I didn't know how much mana I had. I was panicking too hard. I was- I was just like trying to- trying my hardest to maximize the amount of autos on, I could get on him and then hoping that my mana would come for Q. Then I disengaged and then I looked at my mana since I wasn't trying to kite onto Kha'Zix anymore. And I noticed that I was literally- I literally had my Q already. Literally the moment I backed off is when my Q came up. How unfortunate is that? Nice. No cannon for her. Don't know where Swain is. He might be trying to cheese, like, here. But we're not gonna push, so it wouldn't be helpful. I'm assuming he's just out of lane. Thanks loses out on a lot here, which is good because I don't even have a CS lead after the early fight. There's Swain. Hello? Oh, you're kidding me. That's such a bad waste of a cooldown, my W. There we go. Where the hell is Jinx? I think I got a base here. Uh, I don't know that I'm safe from Kha'Zix. I would love to shove one more wave though, so I can get pickaxe though. Vokka's also missing again. We already know he's showing a willingness to roam. I'm just gonna stay actually. This could be a huge cheese. Jinx is low as well anyway, right? Nice one. And we burnt the flash too. Huge. If J4 comes, then we can maybe dive him, but... Nah, I'm gonna leave. Don't know where Kha'Zix is. <clears throat> Not gonna waste my time here. Swain so doesn't have ult, so I know he can't kill Hammer anyway. We'll get double potion here. This lane is still kind of close, I feel like. Could easily be the difference between winning or losing a fight, whether I buy potions or not. I need to stop using Qs though, which can push this wave towards them. I'm just missing out on a massive amount of farm here. At least he burns the Swain Flash, so the now the question is, in the long run, what will benefit us more? Swain not having Flash? Uh, and Timer not having Ignite, because that was also the trade. Or, me missing out on that wave. Can I get him? Ah, fuck's sake. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh man, I cancelled one out of them. Might have got me the kill in the long run. Oh well. Fuck, that kind of died so fast. Why are we getting pinged back? We Like, their jungler is dead. We know where their mid laner is. Fuck, I want to cancel our base, but... So many minions in the way. Got her. Okay, I can't ult on her. <laughs> can't kill her under turret right now, but we can certainly shove. This armor has so much fucking farm, Jesus Christ. Wait, no wonder I'm so behind Jinx. <sighs> I'm going for it. I don't give a shit. Nice, only one throw shot, that's huge. Kha'Zix could be around though. But if he is, we honestly might be just be able to kill him. Well, that depends. If Valka shows up as well, we don't win that. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend. Like, I might actually cancel my base here, but... Okay, I will, I will actually. I will base. I guess I'll just go for the double... Pickaxe for the early kill evolve. But if he'd kept on freezing, I would have just pretended like I was basing and then cancelled it. Just it looked like only Heimerdinger cancelled his base, but we can actually stick around and cheese. Oh, 
Holy fuck, I almost died to Swain. <gasps> no! My cannon. Thought he was leaving it for me. Where is this Kha'Zix? Where is he? Are you kidding me? I'm dead. No point flashing. I just wanted the plating, man. Armor Dinger backed off when he shouldn't have. <clears throat> I shouldn't have used D though, I guess. That was my mistake. It was so obvious that Kha'Zix would be, like, cheesing me though. My team should have... Well, I say my team. Heimer Dinger. My support should have realized that I had uh, 375 gold there and just backed me up. Like, what is he sitting in that bush for there? Like, he, he he's, like, protecting me? Sort of? Like, he's sitting like he's trying to protect me? But he's not protecting shit by sitting in this brush, bro. Not even close. Either rotate to the Drake, or fucking back me up here. You are not peeling me from here. But also, yeah, if I'd used the my E defensively instead of to get to the turf faster and use more attack speed, or get more attack speed, then I probably would have lived. At least been able to use my flash to live anyway. I mean, nice one, J4. Yeah, we can definitely get the Drake now. I'm just gonna shove this wave and leave, not hitting the turret again. Close. Hammer? Okay, he gets the solo kill. But does he get us the Drake? Okay, way too early smite on the Kha'Zix. Got him. I've got Ghost active. And a good ult. My kill! Oh well. My cannon. Why is there fucking support here to defend this instead of going bot? If I don't get hit by a Z, I don't think I die here. One Marauder! Oh, damn, so close. Alright, well. I need somebody to rush mid ASAP to peel me from Kha'Zix. Yeah, exactly. You guys know he's coming for me. I know he's coming for me. So come protect me while we get this turret. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Playing for the team is a foreign concept. <sighs> Hammer's get. I was gonna say Hammer's, at the very least, gonna massively chunk the Kha'Zix as he goes down. That was not the smartest target the Kha'Zix could go for. Hammer Dinger has to commit so little clicks to doing such massive DPS is the issue for Kha'Zix there. Wait, this guy's so healthy again. I guess he recalled. Alright. Battle to be dead. So even though Kha'Zix has, like, his invisibility, to try and avoid damage, it's just not going to help too much against the Heimer. I'm just amazed that he survived long enough for me to get the kill. But I'm not complaining. Okay, perfect. This, uh... Meta is actually so perfect for Kai for the Kai'Sa versus Kha'Zix matchup because the more uptime you have in your W, the more chances you get to have the stealth reveal on Kha'Zix. It's so fucking nice. Kha'Zix is just not playable into Kai'Sa W. You have to dodge it at all costs.
Or go aggressive when it's down at all costs as well. Okay. Fair enough. You have to stick around and steal my farm. But he wouldn't like it if I just stole his uh, small raptors now, would he? This place is beautiful. I'm going to save it. The red buff is coming up. I think we can get that. Oh. Damn. Nice one. <laughs> That's just in such an awkward spot at the start of that fight, but I guess nobody was around to punish it. I don't to reposition as well, so it would have been kind of wasting the time if they did go out of their way to try and get me. Am I dead here? No! Fuck. First shots had already charged on something else. Oh well. We'll do Renez here, I guess. Get the early kill off. Evolve, sorry. This game looks in the bag. I don't think ball enough skills is about it's about even scaling, so our leads should maintain should like be, you know, relevant throughout the entire game. They're never we're never gonna hit a point where they suddenly start being stronger than us. Uh mid lane, I guess Valka slightly has skills of X. But Kha'Zix eh, okay, yeah, Kha'Zix versus J4, Kha'Zix also has skills there, but I think this is also even as well. I mean there is a world where they could like out scale, but I think it's not strong enough scaling. You know, Velkos may skill better than Vex, but he's not a hyper carry. Now there's Kha'Zix versus J4. Our lead should be too big to throw. Who got my shutdown, by the way? Ah, oh, Jinx dead. Oh well. Yeah, we could rush this. This should be smart, I think. They're gonna be walking through there no matter what. Where are they? Oh, they're just not contesting. Okay. <laughs> we get this Volkaz. <clears throat> okay, they have vision here. Still mine though. And I can get the red. Nice. You always love to have blue buff on Navori Kaisa since you spam your ability so much in combat and for clearing waves as well. Seriously. I, like, this has now been a thing long enough for people to really start rating properly just how important blue buff is on Navori Kaisa. It's not, like, crucial for her or anything, but she can really go wild with it. Less important if you go Renez though, because then you stop needing to use Q for clearing waves. Just become super overkill. Ow. Keep moving out of the way of my W, man. Oh, this slow. Exhausted. Not bad. Where's Kha'Zix, though? Love stealing as much as I can here. Just want to be healthy for when Kha'Zix shows up, inevitably. In fact, I should... Probably save my W for him. 
I should also not be blindly walking into the jungle without help. There he is. Lex, didn't you hear there's a Kha'Zix around? Haha, <laughs> thank you, red buff. <laughs> yeah, exactly, as I said. Should be saving my W for him. Thankfully, I had the red buff to still kill him anyway. Oh, fuck. Didn't auto. Did I need to ghost? Probably not. But we'll make goddamn use out of it, bro. Does he die? Yes! Not to me, but I'll take it. Alright, Kha'Zix is gonna be around again. Let's leave. Hit this only with autos instead of Q, so that I can lifesteal off of it. Same with this wave. No Q. Boom. There's a Kha'Zix here. And he's fucked. <laughs> Stealth a real baby. Got us the slight jump on him. Took slightly more damage and that's the only reason while well, he was invisible. And that's the only reason why he ended up dying at the end there to just a red buff. That's how tight that was. Um, this hardly feels worth it. This is better. Only I could have got both though, just by selling Durant's blade. Just barely couldn't. One. Um, I'll farm as much as I can until I go Runance. Then we got one minute until Baron. Should be the next thing we just wait for. Okay, I got Runance. That was fast. Thank you for being a cannon wave. Wow, okay, random ending to the game, but was probably going to be the inevitable outcome anyway. Alright, that was a pretty successful session after the two unfortunate early losses. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, gamers.